In humans' ever-increasing urbanisation, New Zealand in particular being known for urban sprawl, native wildlife is struggling to survive. Introduced predators, loss of habitat and food sources has cost New Zealand a heavy price. Species, once common, became rarely seen. Some native bird life is adapting and even recovering, choosing some New Zealand backyards as a safe haven. In green zones, protected areas, or where landowners have chosen to save or plant trees, wildlife is returning. Protecting them from introduced predators is an ongoing battle. This footage was shot on private land in a built-up area in the heart of one of New Zealand's iconic townships, Raglan, located on the rugged west coast of the North Island. It is only 30 minutes away from Hamilton, a major satellite city in New Zealand. Known for its swooping, loud flight rather than song, Kereru's presence can be heard before seen. Its voracious eating makes these birds large and plump. Kereru often will sit digesting their food for long periods, making them easy prey. With a love of fruit often overripe, they have been seen so drunk from the fermenting fruit they can fall from their perch. Kereru's stunning plumage, swooping flight and hilarious antics makes them a loved guest in any garden. Kereru are one of the only large seed carriers left in the wild. They have a beak large enough to eat fruit and seeds from the larger variety of native trees and spread them through the bush as they perch digesting their food. Without Kereru, New Zealand bush would not regenerate the larger canopy trees it is known for. Tui are known for their white bib under their throat and shining black plumage with a stunning blue-green sheen. Able to mimic other bird calls, their song can be confusing, but are a combination of bell warbles, cackles and clicks. As tui play a necessary role in pollinating our native trees and are endemic to New Zealand, they are an important piece to the puzzle of how our native flora and fauna interact. It is considered a positive sign to rejuvenation programs when tui are observed.
If you would like Kereru and Tui to visit your garden, plant natives, stagger fruiting and flowering trees for a year-long food source, and provide a safe water source. To protect bird life, D6 cats, give them a bell collar and keep them in at night. Control for predators of rats, stoats or possums, and put transfer stickers on your windows that are near trees to prevent window strike. Speak out for our wildlife, support green zones and protected areas.